So next thing I see, you can see all these things. Look, I mean, look at them all. They're coming. When you see this file, yeah. So then I go back to the same beach. It is Gary Point Park in Richmond, British Columbia. The same beach where the headless seal was. And I'll show you this video. Holy crap. I must be either the luckiest or unluckiest person on the face of this earth. <laughs> I just came out to the same beach where I found the headless seal and literally steps from where that seal was, I found this. Its head hasn't been removed, but... Smashed. Wow, man. I Smashed in that head. Right off, the, right off the bat. Holy smokes. Something with great force smashed that, that head what in. seal looks like that's been in the water. Look, its Here's flippers have been I ripped off. In 2019, its head. Okay, this is 10 feet and it was pristine in comparison. from where the seal was in 2016. Now, I want you to also pay attention to this. Flippers ripped off, okay? There's a semicircular, but that's a circular hole. Okay, and that's a circular hole. And you're going to say that that, oh, that's probably a shotgun blast. Somebody took a shotgun to that. Those are its guts kind of hanging out, okay? Remember I showed you a thump in the sand that was next to the two prints that were next to the headless seal that I thought was it looked like a dog print, but there was no other print matching, and it was about six inches across? About six inches across. About the same. Anyhow, smashed in head, ripped off flippers, and two holes approximately six inches in diameter. Yeah, I don't see anything really crazy. There's some sort of abrasion down there. It's kind of sitting in the sand. Big old hole right there. I don't know if that looks like teeth marks or what, but I don't have my really good camera, so this will have to suffice. Wow. Anyway, all wrinkly. And look, see this area here? Okay, does that look to you like it's been sucked? in, I guess, like me after a Christmas dinner, trying to look like I still have abs. Sucked in, okay? Lifeless, devoid of any substance. I hope you're getting to where I'm going here with this. But this is literally 10 feet, 20 feet from where the seal that I found in 2019 with its head missing was just like right over there. Anyhow, there you have it. Another dead seal. So that's two now in the same location. Two pieces of evidence. So here we are with flippers ripped off, head smashed in, and two holes here that match the same diameter as the impression in the sand next to the two prints that were next to the headless seal. Okay, we're looking at some imprints in the sand from 2016 that match these holes here, same diameter. So that's the back end of it. Look, you can see it's all wrinkly. This has been washed around in the water a little bit. But look at that hole and look at how devoid that is. I mean, it's deflated. Okay, it's like a deflated balloon. I wasn't going to roll it over to see what was underneath it. 
But look at that. That head has been smashed in by something. I don't know if these are imprints of something that was holding on to it, but my theory on the seal was that it was picked up on both sides. There were abrasions on the flippers on either side of it. My theory is that whatever killed it and ripped its head off picked it up to do so and then laid it back down on the sand, which is why there was a chin imprint in the sand. So these holes, look at these holes, okay? Match the imprint in the sand next to the, the two footprints, I guess. So, uh, this photo on the bottom, I haven't shown these yet, but I will. I went back to the same park, Gary Point Park, Richmond, British Columbia, last Friday, the 25th. That's three days. This is the 28th. And this is what I found next to a bunch of feathers and some claw marks that were about 14 inches long. But this impression matches the imprint in the sand next to the headless seal. And look what's in it. Claw, 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 claw. This looks like a giant puma print. But it's lifted the sand and ground up around it. So the direction this was going in was this way, okay? Down towards the bottom, okay? It wasn't going in the direction that the claws are. The claws are on the back side of whatever this is, this thing that made an impression into the ground. Same diameter as the hole in the seal with its guts hanging out. Whatever it was that came down that I found on Friday in Gary Point Park with a bunch of feathers around it and nothing else, it swooped down out of the sky, picked up a goose, and took off, slamming something into the ground that had claws in it to launch itself into the air. And you know what I think about this as well? that it's some kind of a mouth. Because look what's in the center right here. Fresh grass. This is untouched grass here and something around the outside. Look, jagged, 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 jagged. Imagine an elephant's trunk with teeth that can put a hole in an animal and suck its insides out. So we'll look at that for a second. <laughs> and then I went on a camping trip up the coast And at first I went for a kayak trip in the lake, one of the local lakes called Powell Lake. And I'm just enjoying myself toddling along in the lake and look what I find. Folks, this is now the the f piece of evidence that really cinches this. If you haven't seen what I'm showing you right now yet, so 
We're going to zoom into it. We're going to get closer and closer as we go. But look what's in the side of this giant rock face. I see at least one, two, three, four. Maybe even one on this side and one on this side. Okay, now I want you to pay really close attention to this. Now I'm going to leave this photo and go to the video. And then we'll come back to these photos so you can see. So this was the first time I went out. And I see this. And I have my cell phone there, so I take a bunch of cell phone pictures. But then I went back. We'll come back to this folder. Then I went back with my good camera, with my P900. And this is, these are the videos. I'm going to go one after the other. And I only went, this is, this is covering only a, I don't know, a hundred foot section of the lake near the public swimming area. I decided I was going to start on one side of the lake and work my way around and see how far I could get finding these things. But I only got to this one part near the public swimming area and look what I found. Okay, everyone. I'm going to be documenting yet another piece of evidence of the existence of modern day dragons or Leviathan or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what. So I've already gotten a couple of other pieces of evidence and this is yet more. So I've come out to a local lake and looking at the chips and gouges and slashes in the rocks from uh, coming from the water coming up onto shore is just crazy. I just want to document these. You can see this one right here, okay? And we're going to document as many as I can where I'm uh, boating around the corner here and showing you all of these gouges and claw marks in the rock coming out of the water. Anyhow, so you can see the gouges here like this, and the ones on the other side here, this one, and these ones over here as well. Look, you can see the sharp point that this comes to, and the sharp point that that comes to right there. Then we continue up the rock. You can see right here these sharp, jagged cutouts in the rock. Heading up to a flattened area that I don't know what that white is, but now yeah. from right off the bat, from what I'm seeing. There are gouges that go on one side and the other side that go up the rock to a, you can see right there, gouge out of the rock, a point, something gouged it out. And something is sat right up there. So I want to say, first of all, that the water line normally comes up around this level. So whatever it is that's coming up out of the water that's creating these marks along the shoreline doesn't have to work as hard normally. But the water line is now about 15, or at least when I was there, was 15 feet below 
normal level. So we're continuing along with the last video. And in addition to these gouges that are in the rock, there's what this pounded into the F? rock. Could be from a, a boat or something that was here. At the exact same but spot where I believe this that this creature is coming up out of the water. Giant claw marks show that something has come out of the water and perched right up there. Or perhaps in the past was chained to this location. And then you come along to this spot, again coming up out of the water, and you've got one with a gouge there, and a gouge there, directional going up there. Hold on, I'm floating back here. So you've got this one on one side. This one on the other side, right there, gouged out of the rock, and then more heading up there. You can see that gouged out right in the corner there. And that, that right there is a giant gouge. So you can see it starts up there and dig out the entire side of that. And that is a gouge as well. And on the side of this rock here, you can see it's just dug it out. Claw prints. Started right at the top. See right there. And there's a couple more in the rock up here. You can see they're directional. So I want you to look at these and see how they're pointed. It's almost if you look down on top of them, this is where the point is, and they come outwards, outwards, and they make a big chunk out of it in a triangular shape triangular shape pointing in the direction it's going its claw comes down and gouges out a triangular shape of rock in many cases you can see here too all of these and little gouges all the way down the rock pointing in the direction because they were claws that came and chipped out the pieces as it went oh up. my goodness, look what's coming. See this whole scene here of it going in that direction. See? Claws. Digging it out. Claw dug that out. And look, you can see when it came through, it came all the way along here. Dug that, that, and then look. There, there, and there. It hit the rock again as it came through. Dragged through here, dragged through here, all along here. Uh, yep, there, there, there as well. in a point, there. It's going in that direction up the hill, up out of the water, onto a perch up there, a flat rock area. Continuing along around the lake. I'm not continuing along around the lake because I get stopped by it. So this is the perch that I was just talking about. Oh, boy. Chips in the rock leading up to this area here. But look, as you, s you can see it and how big it is. It sat in this entire spot, I'm sure. Look, on one side, digs. Look at that dig out of the rock. 
scrape right in a semicircle and dug it right out. That was dug out. Look at those claw marks. Digging out that giant, oh my God. Digging out that giant chunk of rock from one side as it probably took off. And then all the way on the and other side. The other side. So it grabbed both sides. And look at the damage to that side too. Scraped right along the rock. Scraped, damage the rock, damage the rock. Look, see the chip marks from the claws, like right in there, look at that. Right there, claw, chunk, entire chunk came out. Right there, it grabbed right there. Look at that. Claws, one, two, three, that I can see. Took that whole chunk out. Now I want you to notice this. Not only the fact that there's children playing in the background, but I want you to notice the light colored rock, the light colored rock, the light colored rock. All of this rock is freshly exposed. Freshly exposed. Whatever dragged its claws along here exposed this rock underneath that's lighter. If they all were millions of years old, this would all be the same color as the other rock. This is freshly dug out. So it sat right here, or it sits right here. There's kids that have used it for partying, but I wouldn't recommend it, especially after dark. Not even after dark. I found the headless seal on the beach noon on a Saturday. So this whole after dark thing, no. I don't know. It can move along, but it's just like one after the other. I start to leave and I see another big chunk. Look, you look can see the giant, look how far apart this is, okay? Look how far apart this is. Here it dug out and here it dug out. It took one claw on one side and grabbed the rock here. It took one set of claws on the other side and grabbed the rock here. Ah, man. Holy smokes. Just chunks out of this. Yeah, it's sat here for sure. You can see little ones, like little tiny chips. Right like that. See, triangular, that pointing in that direction. That's from a claw going into there and chipping it out. Claws up. there. Right there too, yep. next to it. There it is. See? Claws that made those holes. These triangular shapes. <laughs> pointing in the direction it's going. There's three that I can see. One, at least three. Two, three. At least. At least, maybe four. Yeah. Grabbed right there. Listen to the Took kids the playing in the background. As it came up out of the water, or comes up out of the water. I mean, I think you can see them in all directions, so I think it's coming up using this as a perch every so often. And continuing with this little perch, yeah, right, look right here. Big old triangle dug that right out on okay, its way up the hill. Okay, now that was started by, you see look, a V, yep. Look at that. Taken right out. Look at that slice <laughs> right through the rock. And then a point and a point. And then this whole section of rock was just dug right that out. That entire section was just dug out. Look at the changing color. There you go. Something big enough to take chunks of rock out and strong enough with sharp enough claws, taking chunks of rock and then perching itself up here. And it's and gone then up more the chunks hill of too. rock. Scraping its claws across the rock right here. Look at that. As it's it leaves. Destroying it. Look, I mean, how can you doubt that? Those are at least three claw marks I can see going into that rock and digging it right out, digging a huge chunk out. And then on the other side, same deal. Hey. Huh. Yeah. And I'm starting to go past, and before I float past, here's another one, another chunk taken out of that. See? And look, you can see the claw marks right there as it dug that whole section right out.
climbs up out of the water and sits on his perch. The water line being 15 feet higher, it doesn't have to climb that high. That's why it's making a lot of claw marks on the rock, I think, because it's not used and to having to climb. Right there. I mean, look at the shape of that. That points. Okay, triangular. That Remember direction. that shape. I'm going to hit something probably. Anyway, that points in that direction. Boom. Where something's come up out of the water. You can see as I'm coming around the rock, I'm seeing all these jagged, jagged chunks out of the rock. Chunks out of the rock. These aren't kids. What do they bring? Pickaxes and chip chunks out of the rock at, at night? No, these are gouges. Directional gouges that come up. Chunks and rips everywhere. In the rock. Directional pointing in that direction. The water level is usually much higher, so it would, wouldn't have to work nearly as hard. Here's this rock from afar, and you can even see how it's come up. Mm. Claw marks in the rock, damage to the rock. Look. One, two, three, four at least. Claw marks. Big. Big. And you've got going up there. Fresh Big rock underneath. Rock. Taking chunks out as it comes up the wall. Maybe perching right up on the top of this here. We've got gouges going all the way up. See that scratch mark right in the rock? You can start to see, you know, see? Chunks, big chunks taken out of there. Can start to see what I'm talking about, and then follow it up. There's Look, a big there's one right chunk there. Yeah. Out of there. It's just following it up. Oh, that one right beside it too. Maybe, but that for sure. Look at that. Wow. Dug right great deep into the rock. Is that one too? On the other side there. Another dig right there. As it clawed its way up and then damaged the rock all the way up right there too. Climbed all the way up. As I'm floating past, you can see it all the way around the other side. And then where I began this whole thing showing it's come up right out of the water, clawed its way up, taking chunks out of the rock, directional chunks as it goes up, see, chunks out of the rock, right there, dug right out of the rock. I'm going to hit something. And right up here, here it goes, up to its perch. All right, that's just one bluff, one single one out of this entire lake. Every time I try to move on to the next, I see something incredible. Anyhow, look, you can see the digs. Look at that. I mean that, look, directional, directional, directional. All of these are claw marks along the side of this rock and a chunk, a chunk taken right out of there from its claw. And a first year geology student, a friggin' grade tenor could tell you that that's not the same rock. That that's not all aged over millions of years. Okay, so I haven't even made it around the corner. Haven't even made it around the corner. There's the one I just showed you, this bluff area. And then coming around the corner, again. Look at all those lots of claw gouges. marks in the rocks. Yeah. All one, of those two, claw marks. three, four, big chips, big gouges. Look big at that. Big chunks. Point. Coming up the rock. Digging it out as it goes up. Hold on, I'm floating back here. Hold on. Wow, man. You can see digs out of the rock here and lots of digs out of the rock there. Look at that. Right into the rock. Dig, look at those claws. Wow. 
all like little triangles right pointing in the direction it's going. Digging its way out. Look, chip, chip, chip. Pointing in the direction we're going. Climbing up out of the water. Like tracks. Up to the side. Maybe it's going back to this area. Anyway, I'm floating away again. Just look at this. These are claw marks, drag marks, right through the rock. Starting from there, a point, and coming all the way through. And then down there, look at all these drag marks through the rock. Everywhere. Look at that. Valley in the rock, drag, as it claws its way up. Look at there. Whoa, claw marks, that drag mark right there. Something dragged right down that rock as it climbed up back to that same area. Okay, I'm probably gonna float back again, but I'm trying to get all this in. So, again, directional points, points, heading in there, that. Where's the other one, right here. Right across, drag, drag, right across that. And look at this. Chunks taken out, chunks taken out. Point, point. That whole chunk was taken out by something that gouged into the rock. You can see directional marks everywhere. Heading up, heading up the rocks. Like even that right there, it's a chunk taken out. See, that was that whole area I just showed you with all the claw marks heading up, heading up the hill, heading up the rocks, out of the water. All those chunks taken out of there, look. So then my camera died. Okay, but you can see here, these chunks starting with points points, points, all these holes going up here, all of these were taken out by something that had giant claws and dug out chunks of rock as it went up. So my camera died. I'll go through some of the pictures. Let me go through the ones that were, um, the ones that were in uh, my cell phone first. So this is the first time I went. And you saw this one here, giant claw mark on the rock. Right into the stone. Look how deep. Okay, so we're going to call this the ring finger. Okay, pointer finger, second finger, ring finger, pinky finger. Okay, that's what we're going to call it for now. Deep, deep. Okay, the ring finger is the deepest one the deepest gouge in this rock, okay? This could be one here, but we're just gonna call it for, for these purposes, this could be one as well, but we're gonna call this pointer, the FU finger, <laughs> the ring finger and the pinky, okay? So pay attention to that. Again, another photo of that from a different angle. This is on a rock face. I'm floating in a kayak on a rock face. So this thing has clawed its way up out of the water. It lives in the lake, or it resides there permanently or temporarily. But this whole rock has, has other little gouges, and this whole section, see, that's fallen off there. Um, it could be because of it, but, I mean, look how big that is. That's massive. It's probably two feet across. And again, the ring finger is the one we're looking at. And again, destruction to the rock. You can see these little sort of uh, jaggedy edges like, like we saw at the campsite. The jagged edges. And I want you to pay attention to those things too because we'll see more of those, sort of a jaggedy kind of edge. Rock doesn't fall off like this. We'll see. And then, you know, in this same rock, giant drag mark down a crevice up here. These are all, these, these aren't natural, naturally formed, these cracks. They're claw marks as it claws its way up. 
around here is where that, uh, there it is, where that claw mark is. You can see there's the beach, public area. And this is sort of in a crack in that same face of the rock, but it goes up, straight up the rock. That's up where the claw marks were. There's one, there's the one that's down there. So in my opinion, many of these, if not all of these scratch marks along here were created by some creature coming up out of the water. Or it clawed it and couldn't make it up. I don't see a huge amount going up here. But definitely there's one that one drag mark in here. So it could have been one side here, one side here, made it all the way up in one jump. Here's some boop. A massive amount. This is gallons of excrement on the rock. Look at it coming down the rock. It's like someone poured a can of paint. So we're looking at these directional, like pyramids, directional, and then your claw mark starts here. You can see it went right into the rock and clawed out that section, that triangular section of rock. And all of this, all of this destruction, this you can see here, this, all of this coming down here, this here in the rock, this here in the rock, all of this destruction here was created by Right, right there, something that came up out of the water and used this to get up. All of this, all these directional marks here. Arrows pointing in the direction it's going. Peak, peak. Look how deep this is. Now, is this a talon? Is this a top claw and a bottom claw coming together? Maybe. Took out the rock here. Sliced through the rock. Sliced through the rock. Points, point, point, point. These are claw marks. Something giant coming out of the rocks. Uh, water, rather. This whole scene is something coming up out of the water right here. And you can see, and I'll show you a few more photos, it goes right down into the water. This is evidence. Look at this. Claw, claw, claw. This is a claw mark here. This is a claw mark here. These three went right down through the rock. I'll show closer photos of that in a second. There you go. There's a closer photo of that sliced right through the rock. I think this one right here too. That one didn't slice through. And then here you can see something dragged along here and ch took chunks out here too. Look at that. This is coming up out of the water. Coming up out of the water at Powell Lake, Powell River, British Columbia. There's a monster living in your lake. A monster that can cut through rock with its talons, with its claws. A monster that's biting the heads off of seals and putting holes in sea lions. Look at those. This is not a tiny lizard. Now look, this is fresh rock underneath. This whole thing was taken out by this creature. And look, another claw mark right through the rock. It came right down and went all the way down. It stopped there. Claw marks, destruction up the up the rocks. But this fresh rock underneath, this rock is not weathered like this rock. It's not millions of years old. This is happening now. The seal I came upon was in 2016. The claw prints in the stone at the campsite were in 2022. This is 2022. The water level is so low, this has to climb up out of the water now. Look at all the destruction of this. All these little marks, all these little valleys along here are showing you here, here, that it's going up here, up onto the rock, onto a bluff, onto a, an area where it sits, it perches. Look, 
triangular, directional, chunks of rock taken out. What do you think that is, folks? What do you think that is? In stone, in the rock, this is a footprint. This is a claw print in the stone. Slices through the rock. Drag marks up the side. This is claw marks going up the side of this. Not once, not twice, but several times. This uses this perch near the public swimming area to just chill and pick out what it wants to eat. Claw marks in the rock. This took out this entire section. This is one giant print. Maybe two feet across. Look, big triangular chunk taken out of the rock. And there, look, right there is where its claw went in. All of this, all of this is destruction created. Look at that one there, too. Look at this one up here. All of this destruction is created by something going up the rocks from the water. Triangular, pointing in the direction we're going. Again, destruction to the rock. All these claw prints through the stone. Look right through the stone. That is a claw print. Starts up here too. Drag all the way across here. This is the side of that stone. Remember I said, did the claw come out the top and the bottom? Like it grabbed the rock with something at the top and the talon at the bottom? And look at it, how it destroyed this rock. That's an imprint in the side of the rock by something that just jammed right in there. Like more destruction, claw prints, rock being taken out, chunks taken out, little nicks, triangular nicks. Triangular nicks, this whole thing was gouged out by a claw. That as well, it came right down and took that chunk out right from there. Remember that point that was in the rock at the campsite? Does that look familiar to you? This right here. With the point, and it took a chunk out, just like in the at the campsite, with the claw print in the stone. Anyway, I don't really need to be matching these up and showing you how they're matched up, because it's the same creature. The same creature with giant claws. Look at those. That all the way down the rock right through the rock, all the way down the rock, all the way down the rock, taking chunks out, triangular chunks as it went up, triangular chunks all the way up the rock. And these are just the cell phone photos I took on the first outing. Look, scratches all the way up the rock. This uses this section of rock a lot. Destruction all the way down, you can see points, fresh rock underneath, fresh rock underneath, points, chunks taken out, points, points. Just taking out chunks as it goes up the hill. And look at this one down here in the corner. I'll get to that in a sec. But this whole section, look, chunk taken out, chunk taken out, a big gouge here. A big gouge here in the rock, gouge in the rock here, going all the way down. This one here, going all the way down. Look, this one here, triangle, triangle, triangle. If you wonder what triangles are and what they mean to the elite, maybe this is what they mean, triangles, pyramids. Look at this. This is one big claw print right there that's jammed right into the rock. So let's say one side over here. 
one side over here climbing up the rock. See, I'm getting closer to that one. And this is dug out too, all of this. And a big scratch across here. Look at that. These are like two feet, two feet, two feet, or three feet, two feet, big, big chunks. Something scratched that. Big scratch out of the rock. Big destruction there with points, points. There you go, man. Look, it's not the clearest quality, but look, you can see slice through, slice, slice, slice. Again, don't try and tell me these are prehistoric when you see fresh rock underneath. And I discovered a headless seal with sand, with prints in sand, 2016. Don't try and tell me these are all prehistoric. So who do you think's hiding this? Hmm? Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries definitely are in on it. They know what's going on. They're the first on the scene when anything like this goes on, when anything happens. The cops, definitely, they would know. They're on the scene. They see what's going on. They'll find headless victims. Humans. I'm not talking about animals. I'm talking about humans here. Big claw marks. Look at what we're looking at here. Big slice through the rock. Slice through the rock. Slice through the rock here. Here, slices everywhere. Impression gouge in the rock. Gouge up here. Gouges here. This is not a one-time deal. I've only gone a hundred feet around this lake, and this is what I'm finding. Big gouges. Look at that. This thing's climbed up from the water. Big gouge right there. Triangular gouge. Pyramidal, whatever. That. Pyramid. Pyramid. Oh, I'll go back to this one. Look at down here. This whole section of rock was taken out. The claw mark, claw mark. This whole section of rock was taken out sideways. You can see in this photo how it's... These have come to a point, a triangle, essentially. A triangle. Okay, that's where the claw went in, and this is what is taken out, a chunk that's in the shape of a triangle. So this one is, again, you can see all of these claw marks along here, all these chunks taken out, and something that's gone into this rock right here that's caused an imprint. This right here, something went in, like a claw went in, like a star pattern or something like that. Destruction to the rock, destruction here, you can see claw marks, scratch marks. So this was my first time around, took a bunch of cell phone photos, and I'm not showing you some of them for on purpose because it's coming. Chunk. This whole section of rock was taken out by it. This imprint was left by it. This chunk was left by it. All of these marks, all of these chunks and little nicks and pieces of rock taken out here. Big pieces of rock all the way up the rock. Scratched out the rock. And look at the size of that triangle there. Just chunk after chunk. Triangular shape. Pointing in the direction we're going. Up the rock. Chunks taken out. Gouges. This was sideways. You can see it dragged right through this way and took all of this rock sideways. A 
that's going up the rock. So something that's like a star pattern shape hit that. Gouges in the rock. Gouges. Look. These are claw marks. All these little triangular patterns. Claw mark, claw mark, claw mark. You can see. If you sit here and look at it, you can see things that you haven't seen before. All of this was taken out. All of this, you can see, chunks were taken out on its way up the hill, coming out of the water. See, here, here, all of this was taken off. It probably came right straight down through here and took all this chunk of rock off here as well. All of this. Now look, this is the water line. This is down into the water. All of this triangular, all of this coming up here. Use this place right here to come up out of the water. Look. Triangle, 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 gouges, triangular gouges, directional. This is underwater. There's the water line at the, at the top of the picture here. Triangular gouges. Coming up out of the water. All this is wrecked. Look at this. Wrecked because of the claws of this beast coming up out of the water onto the shore creating all of this destruction as it goes all these triangular points caused by its claws now I want you to take a look at this photo